Looking to learn about the latest technology? How does that gizmo you bought work? What are the innovations of the future? Our Gadget Girls can help. Our four Gadget Girl hosts were selected for their engineering and technology background. We took them out of their tech environment and put them in front of a television camera to guide you as we look for the newest innovations and coolest high-tech discoveries. Carolyn is a process designer in the energy industry. Sasha is a senior business analyst. Janelle is studying mechanical engineering, energy and management. And Ethel is an assistant technical engineering officer. These are the Gadget Girls. We are breaking new ground, gentlemen, letting you know that the ladies are making headway in the tech field. Join them as they decipher the latest and greatest gadgets, inventions, consumer products, and high-tech innovations, right here on Gadget Girls. Hi, welcome to Gadget Girls. I'm your host, Sasha Estrada. And I'm your host, Carolyn Cerny. And today we've got an awesome show lined up for you. And Janelle is meeting up with Dr. Maria Karam, who is bringing her research out of the lab and into the coffee shop, where we'll talk about the public usability and see her latest innovations and experiments. And a little later, we're going to go see Sasha's very interesting interview with Corey Silverberg from Come As You Are to talk about the latest in sex, toys, and technology. And for all you music lovers out there, wouldn't it be nice to be serenaded with music while throwing out the trash? Well, we're going to show you how to do that. Also on today's show, Gadget Girl Effa McCashes is taking us into the third dimension. That's right. The future of television is here with the latest from Panasonic and their 3D television. So today, you'll get a glimpse of the new home entertainment technology. Well, Sasha, I can't imagine a world without computers, and they've actually been around longer than most people think. We're going to go back to the early 1900s to look at the evolution of one of the most important innovations of our time. And finally, we're keeping it green with the Copenhagen Wheel Project. You've never seen a bike like this before. So it looks like we've got a bang-up show for you today. And now, this week's Green Gadget. Bikes are used for leisure, transportation, and sports, but what if you can turn your ordinary bike into a hybrid version with just the change of a wheel? The Copenhagen Wheel Project is trying to accomplish that. This bike wheel captures the energy dissipated while cycling and braking and saves it for when you need a little bit of a boost. Designers at MIT Sensable City Lab have created components and self-running motors in the wheel that allow the rider to conserve energy while pedaling, thus helping you power the bike when you're tired. The Copenhagen Wheel might not only give the rider a break, but also may help us become more aware of our environment. As you pedal, the wheel monitors your surroundings, from carbon monoxide levels, noise, and air quality. Controlled by your smartphone, it becomes a natural extension of your everyday life. This may also help you to plan healthier bike routes and also help it to achieve your exercise goals. The data you collect on your phone can also be shared with other riders in your city. This will help monitor environmental levels and could help create greater green awareness in your community. Recently, mayors from across the world were invited to Copenhagen to take the wheel for a spin. You see my bike? You start pedaling and the motor takes over. With the effort of bike riders worldwide, the Copenhagen wheel may just help us take one more step towards a greener lifestyle. All it takes is a push of a pedal. Let's take a look at what's going on around the world in technology news. Gadget Girls has found what could be the next generation of urban transportation design. UK architects and engineers from MIT Sensible City Lab have created the iStop. This interactive bus shelter is designed to help organize a commuter's trip. The shelter is partially covered with touch-sensitive e-ink and screens. On the actual bus shelter itself, riders can plan their trip by using an interactive map, surf the web, and monitor real-time exposure to pollutants. The iStop powers itself through sunlight, which makes the gadget environmentally friendly. The first iStop bus shelter was recently placed in Florence, Italy, and quickly gained positive feedback from the community. Each of the shelters will be designed to fit the specific needs of the city. Expect to see these unique interactive bus shelters pop up in more cities around the world. From commuting to enhanced viewing, our next story is about the revolution of assisted eyesight. Invented in Ottawa, Canada, the eSight is not your average pair of sunglasses. eSight Corporation has created a high-resolution camera that is designed to capture whatever the wearer is looking at. A digital video is sent to a powerful onboard computer where various attributes of the image are modified according to the specific needs of the person and their unique visual impairment, and then is sent directly back to the eyeglasses, allowing the person to see the modified new image. With more laws coming into effect, banning the use of your mobile device while driving, Hybrid Advanced Technology and Absolute New Inc. has created a simpler way to use your Bluetooth. The OR 
Barb hails from San Francisco, California. This interesting gadget may appear just as an ordinary ring that you would wear on your finger. However, this expandable device actually offers Bluetooth users a more comfortable way of using their mobile phone. Now, just by twisting the orb open, it creates an S shape that hooks to your ear, similar to that of a Bluetooth. The orb incorporates NXT technology and high quality bone conduction audio, delivering a clear sound. This gadget comes with a class 2 Bluetooth range of 30 feet, with plans of a deluxe edition to be released to the market. And that's it for news around the world.